Hello, I'm Seema and welcome to my chemistry videos. The topic for this video is electronic configuration of atoms. In the previous video, I explained to you the Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity, the Pauli exclusion principle and the off bows principle and how they decide that when electrons fill up in an atom, they first go to the that uh, orbital which has the lowest energy and the filling up takes place according to increasing energy of the orbitals and I made this diagram to help you memorize what is the sequence of energy increasing energy of these orbitals now in this video I'm going to teach you how uh, the first 30 elements how the electrons of the first 30 elements are filled up in these orbitals so let us first write down these um, elements. What are these? The first 30 elements are hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon. These are the first 10. The next is sodium. Mm, I'll write them here. Sodium, magnesium, aluminum, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon, potassium, and calcium. And the next 10 would then be scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, iron, cobalt, nickel, copper, and zinc. In the next chapter, that is the periodic table of elements, I'll teach you in one of the videos how to memorize these 30 elements. But learning the configurations of these first 30 elements gives, makes that trend and makes us understand the remaining configurations very easily too. So let us start with the first element. Now I have arranged these according to their atomic numbers, which means according to their number of protons. And in a neutral atom, the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. Therefore, these have, the hydrogen is the first element, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This would be 11, 12th element, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Scandium is 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So these are the number of electrons in each of these elements. So how are these arranged? Hydrogen has one electron. Since its atomic number is one, it means it has one proton, one electron. Where does this electron go? It goes to the lowest energy orbital, which is 1s. So I have made these. This is one way of representing the electronic configuration. Electronic configuration is the arrangement of electrons in the different orbitals in an atom and how we represent it. It can be written in this form, in the form of these cubes which represent one orbital each or it can be written in another way that I will be doing both of them now. Hydrogen has one electron. In this cubic representation, every uh, orbital is a cube and every electron is represented by an arrow one and since there are two electrons in an orbital one arrow points upwards and the other points downwards and preferably we write, like to keep them half arrows because it's a half spin upwards and a half spin plus half and minus half so we put half an arrow upwards and half an arrow downwards hydrogen has one electron so it has one electron in the 1s orbital so let us fill up the 1s orbital for hydrogen it will be one electron in the 1s orbital and how do we write the electronic configuration it is written as 1s1 the configuration how it is written we write it the orbital is written and the number of electrons in that orbital is written as a superscript so the configuration of hydrogen is 1s1 what is the configuration of helium then Helium has two electrons. The second electron would obviously go to the lowest energy shell. It will first fill up the first shell. So the second electron goes here. So helium is 1s. It is the 1s orbital. 
has two electrons. So the configuration of helium would be 1s2. Next is lithium. Lithium has three electrons. So now the 1s shell has been filled up. The next in the sequence is the 2s orbital. So the third electron, the first two would move to 1s, but the third electron would move to the orbital 2s. So helium would have a configuration. You would draw it like this in this diagram and you will write it as 1s2, that it has two electrons in the 1s orbital and in the second 2s orbital, it has one electron. So in the 1s orbital, it has two electrons and in the 2s orbital, it has one electron. Next comes beryllium. Beryllium has four electrons. So the fourth electron goes up to the second 2s orbital and it pairs up there. So what would the configuration be? We will write 1s has two electrons in beryllium and the next two electrons go to 2s orbital. Therefore 2s is also 2. The next is boron. Boron has five electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, the first two go to 1s, next two go to 2s and the next electron would go to the next energy level. Which one would it be? It would be 2p. After 2s, it is 2p that fills up. So for 2p to fill up, you will put one electron in 2p. Right? So what would the configuration of boron be? There are two electrons in 1s, two electrons in 2s and in 2p there is one electron right so in 2p there is one electron and you could call these three as px py and pz right so we would say in 2px there is one electron because only out of the three degenerate p orbitals there is only one electron in one of these so we write it as 2px one or we could just write, if we are talking only of the subshell, we could eliminate the x. Next is carbon. Carbon has six electrons. So the next electron, according to this, would go to, remember p has three orbitals. So p, 2p will have six electrons. The next six electrons would go to 2p. So we, after boron, we have carbon. Carbon has six electrons. The first two go to 1s. The next two go to 2s and then in 2p since we have degenerate orbitals according to Hood's rule of maximum multiplicity the next electron will not go and share an orbital rather it will occupy singly occupy a degenerate orbital as I gave you an example yesterday about the swings that if there are three swings and children have to occupy there are six kids the first three will go and occupy one swing each and it's only after each swing has been occupied will the fourth child go and share a swing with, a, with one of them and the other two would also do it. So it's the same. The electron moves to the next orbital. So we say the configuration of carbon would be 1s2, 2s2, 2px has one and 2py has one electron. Right? Next is nitrogen. It's not necessary to write it as 2px and 2py. You can write this without specifying the exact orbitals too. In that case, I would have written it as 2p1 and this would be 2p2. And it's understandable that the two electrons would move, would first occupy the degenerate orbitals singly and then pairing would occur. Now the next element is nitrogen. Nitrogen has seven electrons. Two here, two here, one, one, and one. So one electron now goes to the third p orbital. So the configuration of nitrogen is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. Or you could write 2px1, 2py1, and 2pz1. So that is nitrogen. Next is oxygen. Oxygen has eight electrons. So now after all the three p orbitals have been filled, degener the degenerate orbitals have been occupied singly, pairing occurs in oxygen. So you have one pair here. So the configuration would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p4 or 2px2. You could say any one of these has two and the other two have one each. Now the next element is fluorine. Fluorine has nine electrons. So we are now, remember we are filling up the 2p orbitals here. After 2p orbitals, what will be filled up? The 3s. So let us first fill up. Oxygen 
has four electrons, fluorine would have five. Therefore, the configuration would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. And the next element that is neon, which has 10 electrons, it will have the complete pairing here. That sixth electron will move to the, or the tenth electron will move to the third p, 2p orbital. So the configuration of neon will be written as 1s2, 2s2 and 2p6. I'm sure this video is going to cut off in between and then we'll flow over. I'll do the rest in the next video. But I would like to move on with this. So now we have done the configurations up to neon. Let us move on. After neon, hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon. The first 10 elements come in 1s, 2s and 2p. The next element, now sodium, would come into the 3s orbital. The next orbital to be filled up is 3s. And s orbital is only 1 and has only 2 electrons. So the next 2 elements, the 2 electrons will move to the, to the 3s orbital. 